Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. If you've watched my channel over the years, you'll remember videos on the so-called unfinished pyramid of Zayat el Ariane. Inside the structure at the bottom of a pit was a strange oval shaped tub, a type of container which experts call a sarcophagus, and inside this sarcophagus was a mysterious black goo, a substance that was never analysed or examined. Many have speculated what this material actually is, and although we can't know for sure, it is important to know that black goo is also found in many ancient Egyptian burials. Dr Kate Fulcher, a research assistant in the British Museum's Department of Scientific Research, has led the way to analyse the black goo in ancient Egyptian burials, and a new article on the British Museum's website does tell us a great deal. More than 100 samples of black goo have been taken from 12 coffins and mummy cases, dating to the 22nd dynasty of ancient Egypt, between 900 and 750 BC. These samples were chemically analysed in the museum's labs using gas chromatography and mass spectrometry. Basically, the goo is vaporised and forced into a mass spectrometer which separates its particles for analysis. The black goo was found to have a composition of plant oils, animal fats, tree resins, beeswax and bitumen. It is also very likely that other materials would have also been present in the goo, but have long disappeared through various means over the many hundreds of years that have passed. Interestingly, some of the ingredients were not native to Egypt, meaning they had to have been imported. The two tree resins were from conifer trees and pistachia. The latter grows around the Mediterranean from Greece to Western Asia, but are not native to Egypt. The bitumen biomarkers in the goo showed that this substance was imported from the Dead Sea, and as an article on ancientorigins.net says, this makes sense because ancient Greek texts refer to solid blocks of bitumen floating to the surface of the Dead Sea. They even recorded that sailors would row out to collect it and sell to the Egyptians. According to research, several litres of the black goo substance would have been poured over each ancient Egyptian mummy case, cementing it into the coffin before the lid was placed. This is shown from analysing the burial of a high priest at the Temple of Amun in Karnak, whose name is shown on the screen. He lived around 3000 years ago, and after adding the goo, his preserved remains would have been hermetically sealed inside the coffin. So, we know what the black goo is, but what was its meaning? The experts of the British Museum are unsure, because obviously there is no written record, but it could be for practical purposes to seal the body and the grave goods that were tucked inside the bandages, to stop grave robbers from stealing the most precious items, and to stop people damaging the body. But maybe the black goo had a spiritual reason, instead of or as well as a practical one. It could well be for ritual, as the same ingredients were used in other parts of the mummification process, before the body was placed inside the coffin. Researchers also said the colour of the substance, being black, represented the dead. The person being buried took on the form of Osiris, the god of the dead and rebirth, and known as the Black One. According to the British Museum scientists, black is also the colour associated with the alluvial silt deposited on the banks of the River Nile after the annual inundation recedes, a soil that was viewed as magical and regenerative. As well as being found in the coffins of priests, the black goo was also used for royalty, because as the Ancient Origins article says, Tutankhamun's innermost gold coffin was cemented into the middle coffin with bucketfuls of black goo. So, going back to the tub at the bottom of the pit at Zayat el Ariane, and if this contained the same black goo as what was analysed by the scientists, then, for a start, it implies that her body was laid to rest inside the tomb, meaning that Zayat el Ariane must have once been a finished structure, not unfinished as we are told. Alternatively, the tub could have been reused for a burial in later dynastic history. We know that there was a later burial in the Pyramid of Menkore, and there was also a bull that was placed inside the sarcophagus in the Khafre Pyramid, so ancient structures were reused. 
Of course, we can't say for sure what the black goo in the tub of Zayat al Aryan is, because sadly it wasn't preserved. But it is highly likely that it is the same black goo associated with the ancient Egyptian burials. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported this channel so far, both by watching the videos and also by donating. Going forward, when the lockdown is lifted, I'm planning on travelling to various sites around the world. With the incredible donations on Patreon and YouTube memberships, I've now managed to buy a camera and the equipment. As so many of us know, views on YouTube are dropping. So, if you want to help the channel, there are a number of ways to do so. Via Patreon, YouTube memberships, Teespring merchandise and also now PayPal. All the links are in the description below. I've also got two more channels, one of them called Space and Planet, and together with my daughter I've also just started a gaming channel, which I'm using as a project to teach her. If you want to support those channels please subscribe. Thank you all once again for watching, and more videos will be coming soon. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.